Once you've got JEdit all set up, let's start working with some CAML. There are two files on the website for you to download, ggb.cml and schemaheader.txt. The CAML file is just a simple place mark at the Golden Gate Bridge. So once you've opened it, go ahead and right click and then copy the place mark. And then let's paste it directly into JEdit. Now JEdit won't start looking for errors until you've saved it. So click File Save and I'll call this test.kml. You'll notice that we immediately had an error pop up. You can go ahead and ignore this for now, but basically what it's saying is that it can't find a schema for this XML document. A schema is a list of rules for the KML to follow. We'll come back to this a bit later. So let's go ahead and make some XML errors. We can do this by misspelling a place mark. So let's go ahead and maybe add an X onto the beginning of the first opening placemark tag. You'll notice that we immediately have a second error which says element type placemark X can't be terminated by placemark. What it's saying is that you don't have a matching tag for the beginning and end of this particular KML tag. But if we were to add X onto the closing placemark tag, you'll see that the error disappears. That's because this is valid XML. It has the same closing and opening tags but it's not valid CAML because placemark X isn't a real CAML tag. So let's go ahead and specify a schema on the second line of this XML document. Open up the schema header.txt file also included on the website. Once you open it up, you'll see that it has the same XML namespace or XML NS line as the original CAML document but it also has three additional lines which point to the schema or list of rules that our KML has to follow. So we'll right click and copy this and then switch back to our test.kml file. And I'm going to replace the original KML opening tag with this new one that has the schemas included. Opening up the error list, you'll see that we immediately have a new kind of error which says invalid content was found starting with element placemark X and then it gives a list of tags that it would expect at this point. So even though this is valid XML and that it has an opening and closing placemark X tag, the document in JEdit now knows that this is invalid KML. And notice as soon as we remove those X's, all of the errors disappear. Well, let's go ahead and make a different kind of error. I'm going to copy the coordinates tag and duplicate it. Now you see in the error list box, invalid content was found starting with element coordinates, no child element expected at this time. So it's basically saying that you're only allowed to have one coordinates per point, which makes sense. Let's make uh, one different kind of error. So as you probably know, a placemark tag with a point on the ground can be extruded. You'll notice that the third value in the coordinates tag is a zero, which is the elevation above sea level. So let's pop over to Google Earth and extrude this point. You can do that by clicking on the Altitude tab and then raising its elevation. And then if you click Extend to Ground, you'll have a line drawn from the place mark to the ground point below. So let's go ahead and do this in the KML itself. The way you do it is by specifying a height value as the third number in a coordinates tag. And then you also have to add an extrude tag with a true or false value of either one or zero to the point. You'll notice that JEdit just auto completed that tag for me, which is kind of a nice feature. So I'm gonna say extrude one, which means extrude this point. Well, there are only two valid values for this, zero and one. So if I were to say make it nine, we'll immediately get an error which says 9 is not a valid value for boolean. Boolean meaning true or false, 1 or 0. So if I go ahead and change this back to 0, the error disappears. All right, so why don't we go ahead and copy this entire place mark that's now extruded and paste it into my places. There we go. So the important thing to remember here is that you have to replace the first opening KML tag with the new version containing the XML schema reference. And then as errors arise, you'll see them pop up in this error list window. 
So good luck editing your KML with JEdit.